Hey guys, what's up? Lord Meacher again here, your lord of video games, and welcome to another episode of Persona 4 Golden. In the last episode, we had our beach episode, and it was actually pretty funny and actually quite fun. But in this episode, we're continuing right where we left off. We have our main party which is the one I'm going to be going through most of the game, at least if we do not get a new party member. And this is what I have decided on. Yosuke, Yukiko, Kanji, and obviously myself. So these are our personas because I did get a few more for all the ones I need and stronger. We got Hanuman for some... Um, damage uh physical damage sorry sati for some it's for aeon and for some fire damage we got gambu for the ice thaw for the electric you guys know i do like him a lot alarun um simply for moon but pretty good for um it, she has megido and she or he i have no idea um, they do have counter, uh, energy shower, and Meteorama. They're all good. Pretty good, um... Um, I'm gonna have them be, like, a healer slash, uh, you know, gonna, like, an all-arounder. We have our healer, Leon Sheep. You guys have known how much I love this persona from past games. We have Yada Garasu here. We have Orthrus for some more fire damage, just in case. Okuto Seikun for some electricity. As well as Triglav. All these are ones that I need anyway. And we have it for every single thing we have a uh, uh we have it uh, counter we have grove taro kukaja muster bomb all foes and a chance of intervention increases party defense this one's actually pretty good which i think is and we also have dominion which is one of the best um until we get you know something better one of the best light users. Hanuman has 41. Triglav has 42. Ooh. Yeah. I think we know which one we're going for. And it has counter, I believe, right? Yeah, this one does not have counter, but it has power charge. And endure. Oh well, let's try it out. But... Let's go forward. It's feeling. I sense a shadow behind that door. Are you ready for it? I would hope so. Let's go. Don't let me down, senpai. Show me your skills. All right, we shall try two times at least. Oh, that's not good. No problem. All right. First of all, we are reaching the stage. Um, where it's better to. One enemy to go. Keep it up. Weaken it. Weak. <clears throat> Weaken stuff. Sorry. Ooh. Okay. Uh. That's for in case stat bonus. How much? Oh, you resist. Oh, that's not good. Um, well, Agadine. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, let's go with all these then. Foul breath. Oh, God, no. Element susceptibility up. All right, um, which would be my best? She does have Aguilau. She 
versus party's defense. Fifty-two has Ela Camp. We know where who we're going for yes, then. Ooh, three fifty. Okay, this is. Uh, I'm not even gonna say anything. Nope, not gonna say anything. I don't want to jinx it. Three hundred seven. I can't be careful. Your ailment susceptibility is up. Please no. Ooh, endure the hit. The eggplants. The eggplants. We're doing more eggplants. We're doing more eggplants. Oh my god. And that's my air fryer telling me my food's ready. Eating up some egg rolls. How about you guys? Do you guys like egg rolls as well? If so, tell me which kind of egg rolls do you like? It ain't going down. Mine slice. Oh no! No, that is so bad. Oh, I don't have a cure. Mm. I have to attack. Oh, thank you. Oh my god, I can attack. Oh my god, that was clutch. Good job, Yukiko. That actually helped out. Defense reverted. Crazy chain. I don't know what that does. Wow, Yukiko senpai scary when she's mad. Not good though. Let's go back to this. Last one. Go for it. Lower the defense. Mm -hmm. Come on. Oh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> it's so funny him with the, <laughs> with the two corn. Oh, that's hilarious. And it's over. That wasn't that bad. I think we're either over leveled or over prepared with our personas. I think Personas did quite a difference there. I defeated a mighty enemy. Courage has increased. Something inside you has changed. Thoth has leveled up. Hmm. That was actually really good. Okay, where's the... Are these skulls? Yes! My response must be a tile, not an object. Something on the floor. Gaia sword. Yes! Give me... How does it look? Oh my god, yes! That looks so epic! Oh my god, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Go ho M. Let's get out of here. Alright, I am going to cultivate vegetables that... Um... Really help us out. Ah, so I've done everything. I did grind personas, so let's go out. Hmm? Let's get out. Go back home. Yes. Good work, everyone. Let's go back. Let's go. Oh, that was that was good. That was good. You decided to look over Nanako's homework. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm doing my art homework today. I have to make something out of stuff I find in the house. Oh? Milk carton, paper uh, paper towel tube, knitting wool, origami paper. Hmm. What else do we have? Is someone here today too? Yeah, Rize and Kanji came back. All right. Senpai said that Nanako-chan was doing her summer homework. Should have told me. But it looks like I picked the wrong day to come. Can't do anything with this art stuff. Me neither. Oh, Kanji can. Huh? Let me see what you got. 
Kanji carefully crafts something with incredible detail. Jesus. It creates something that no elementary student could make. We came closer to everyone. You feel a relationship with Kanji is going to become closer soon. Nice. You feel a relationship with Rize is going to become closer soon. Nice. You feel a relationship with Nanako is going to become closer soon. Nice. After putting Nanako to bed and saying goodbye to Rize and Kanji, you went to your room. Nice. The 28th. We're almost at the end of the month. Right, summer break will be over soon. There's some homework left. What's there to do today? Um, what is today? It's Sunday, so... Hello, it's Rize. Never mind, we're hanging out with Rize. Cancel all plans. Aren't you bored today, senpai? Let's go somewhere. Sure. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. You just gotta go out with Rize. Central Shopping District. You walked Rize home after a trip to Okina City. <laughs> I placed lots of special orders. Come with me next time when I go pick them up, senpai. Of course. <laughs> Had tons of fun today. Not many people try to come up and talk. Maybe they already forgot who I am. Oh yeah, want some tofu to take home? I helped make them today. I'll wait right here. She's so excited, it's so adorable. Excuse me, Michiru-san, is it? Oh my god, you again! Um, sorry about the other day. Uh, I mean, no, really, no way. Rize Kujikawa's former manager. I'm sorry to bother you, but did you give this to her? No, I handed you a letter. A, a fan letter came, you see. Why are you so interested in her, my dude? I'm one of her fans myself. Her talent is captivating. I always look forward to this girl's letters, so... Oh, okay. In today's cult of personality, being popular carries its own pop problems. <laughs> Your schedule fits together, and in my minute, like a jigsaw puzzle. Every day, you squeeze utterly dry. But even knowing that, I still want her to come back. It was generally brilliant. Not only that, but she's strong enough to use her pain as a foundation. From what I could see, she's relying on you. So, could you... <coughs> Sorry, Senpai, but we're all sold out. And Noah-san? Quit pestering me! Wait, what did you say to Senpai? No, I'm sorry, I'm leaving now. Goodbye. <coughs> Away! How to me even after I quit? He's practically a stalker. I think I trusted him. I feel betrayed. Uh, he's worried about you. <coughs> no. He just wants Rosette back. The me he created. Rizet is biting her lips. Sorry, I'm drinking water because geez. It takes a toll on my throat. So, what did he come up come for? You told Rize why you know it came and handed her the fan letter. This letter. She wrote again. I see. They came all this way out here for this. <sighs> this girl is a middle school student. She writes to me all the time. I did this public service campaign once to stamp out bullying. She said it inspired her. She wrote that she could she wouldn't let bullies get her down. As she tried to make friends. Ever since then, she wrote letters. This happened to me today. I was able to say this. Stuff like that. Seeing Rosette work hard encourages me. Makes me feel like I can still hang in there. <laughs> she doesn't really know how it works, huh? But still, every time I read her letters, I felt like Rosette actually meant something. So whenever things got tough, I would read them over and over. Senpai, do you still have some free time? Of course. My fire just keeps beeping. Calm down. Atsuhime Shrine. 
Rize seems to be in deep thought after reading the fan letter. Hmm. She's worried about me. Officially, I'm taking a break due to illness, so... <sighs> Before I quit, there was talk about a part in a movie. She sounds like she was really looking forward to it. Please get well soon and come back, she says. I'm so glad you are here. I was scared to read it alone. I give up on being reset. I can't meet her expectations. Um, having second thoughts though? I have no regrets. At least, I think not. I mean, it was such a relief to quit. To go back to being the real me. <laughs> Rize has a lonely smile on her face. Anyway, Rosette doesn't exist anymore. It's not just this girl. I disappointed lots of other people. The president of the company told me that over and over. I knew already. I knew this was the path I chose, but... Maybe I'll just inherit the tofu shop. I'm the shop's main attraction now. I bet I could make it thrive. Uh, senpai! Maybe we should really just do it. You know, what I was saying a while back. You could marry me once we graduate high school. And the two of us could work at the tofu shop together. Doesn't that sound fun? How about it? <laughs> uh, You're serious? If I'm serious? I think I'm pretty serious. I always so calm. <laughs> but I like that. Rize is smiling sheepishly. Thank you, Senpai, for being with me all of today. I feel a bit better. Yeah, I'm fine. I can contribute something. It looks like there are still plenty of things only I can do. You can sense Rize's quiet well. You feel like you understand Rize even more. Rank up Rize Kujikawa. The Rize Kujikawa social link has reached level 6. The project of personas of the lovers arcana has grown. Please learn something. Risa's determination in battle has been enhanced even further. Yes! She will now precisely identify an enemy's weakness. Oh my god, yes. When your options for attack include the enemy's weakness, Rize will inform you. Good! That's actually really insane. Sorry for dragging you around all day. I'll let you go now. It seems like... I'll see you later, senpai. You walked Rize to her house and went home. Like, out of all the, like... Navigators? I feel like Rize has a really overpowered abilities. She's really... Don't get me wrong, like, Futaba had really insane abilities as well. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I think Futaba might be better. I don't know. It's a, it's a close. It's close. Decide to look over Nanako's homework. I have to write a paper about my favorite animal. Mm, which one should I choose? Mm. Oh, I know. There's a picture of it on that shirt that Dad bought. What was it called? A platypus? A right about platypuses. Hmm. Nanako eagerly begins researching platypuses. She doesn't seem to need any help, but you make sure she's on the right track. Platypuses lay egg lays eggs. Platypus lays eggs. And they have poisonous claws. Huh? Question. Is it the male or female platypus that has the poison claws? Actually, it's the male. Correct. You're smart, big bro. Nanako is impressed. The only reason I would know that is because of... Betty the platypus! No, not really, but... <laughs> it actually got me researching. The show of it is infer. After Nanako finished her research, you put her to bed and return to your room. Mm -hmm. 
Summer break will be over soon. Have some homework left. It would be risky to delay it any longer. Okay, okay. It would be best if you worked on your homework today. <sighs> fine, fine. You decided to do your summer Oh, okay, they just forced me to. <laughs> your knowledge has increased. Homework is mostly review problems. You feel that you have a better understanding of the material. Knowledge has increased. You feel that you understand it, but still not well enough. Your knowledge has increased. Okay. Does you have completely read expert study methods, you are able to study more efficiently. Your knowledge has increased. Damn. Four points of knowledge. After working urgently on your homework. All of your homework has been completed. Oh my yes! Let's go. They decided to look over Nanako's homework. Again? Jeez. This is the last thing I have to do for my homework. I just need to write a picture diary. Um... Big bro and dad. Oh, she's so adorable. Uh, I wanna have kids. Ah. Uh. Um, let's see. August 27th? Ah. Uh, I don't remember the weather. Um, big bro? Yes? Did it rain the day that we worked on my art homework? Actually, no. It stopped raining by then. Pretty sure, because it was raining during the day? Yeah, because during the day I went... Yeah, I went into the dungeon because it was raining. Which is the perfect time because you get a lot of new enemies and like more stuff for um, Daidara. And at night it had stopped raining. I'm pretty sure. Please be true. Oh, that's right. Thank you. Nanako just remembered. Oh, good. Ooh. <laughs> Big Bro and his friends helped me a lot with my homework. They were so nice. I like them so much. Oh, she's so precious. No, don't look. Okay, okay. Nanako has finished all of her summer homework. After putting Nanako to bed, you went to your room. This is so Cute. I love it. I love it. Oh my god. Good morning, Senpai. It's me, Rise. Yo, what's up? Did you know the fireworks festival is today? You know, I don't have any plans. She is very direct. Ah. Hmm. Alright, let's go. You and me. How do you go? Excuse you? How? Rizzy seems a little embarrassed. Good, that's what I like. I want to. I like embarrassing her. But I bet we'll run into the others at the festival. Yosuke Senpai would never pass up something like this. That's true. I like doing that. Uh, give her a little taste of her own medicine. Pretty cute. It kind of sucks, but maybe we should get together with everyone this time. Well, I'll see you tonight, Senpai. All right, see you then, Rizzy. flip phones from back then geez huh big bro are you there yeah what's up nanako chan i'm gonna play at mana chan's house i'll buy some trash bags on the way back okay you wondered if nanako knows about the fireworks festival you tell nanako you'll be going to the fireworks festival with your friends show once he comes home Ooh, okay it's at night so i have to go with dad but he said he'll try and come home for it okay hey i'm glad to hear that mm, 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 mm. Mm. yeah I'm, ha I'm, ha I'm happy to hear that All right. You decide to leave Nanako to Dojima and go to the fireworks festival with your friends. You and your friends arrive at the hill overlooking the town. Ooh, the crowd's pretty thin here. Oh, that's good. 
Good spot. Things were packed. I'm surprised you found a quiet spot like this. Oh no, I knew about it. Oh? I pass by the mountainside a lot. Customers ask me about it too. Mm. I wonder if Nanako-chan will make it. I called and told her where we'd be before I left. Good job. Ah, that's nice. Hey, where's Teddy? Oh my god. Not only was he hitting on girls non-stop, he accidentally put the moves on Hanako and she dragged him away. Uh, <laughs> that's he what he gets. He ducked into his bear skin right away and acted like a bear, but he still got dragged off without a word. <laughs> Whoa, can we just leave him like that? He'll be fine. Sure we can. His karma caught up to him. Mm -hmm. Aren't you being a little cold to Teddy today, Yosuke-senpai? When I think back to what he did this morning, no. I really don't. What did he do this morning? Truth be told, I wish I could send two or three more Hanukos at him. Damn. What'd he do? Dude, that would kill him. What happened anyway? I don't even want to remember it. Ooh. He dug up some private stuff from my room and brought it to the Hanamura family breakfast. Oh. Oh. He was all like, Yosuke, what's this magazine about? Oh. Can you imagine the humiliation I went through because of him? Oh my God. It's your fault for having that stuff. It's not like I ever thought anyone would wave it around in front of my parents. Oh my god. Is this really what you want to be talking about with girls around? Yes, Yosuke. Huh? Is he not talking about his secret savings? Oh, Yukiko. You precious, you precious, precious bean. Secret savings for a guy. Right. Let's just leave him be. Yes. Oh, here comes Teddy. Teddy? Oh, oh! What a tragedy. My lovely fur is completely ruined. How? That's... Okay, that's worse than I was expecting. Oh, my God. Wait, people are going to stare at you like that. Hurry and take it off. But I'm like a newborn child inside. W what? Just like your magazine from this morning, Yosuke. Teddy! Quit reopening this morning's wounds. There they are. Big bro. Teddy, do not mention that in front of Nanako, please. Hey, Nanako-chan! Looks like Dojima-san made it in time. Yeah. Yeah. Dad came home early. I'm glad you guys made it. Hey, I'm happy for you. Yep. Nanako seems happy. Sorry if I made you nervous. I didn't quite finish my paperwork, but I figured a dachi could handle the rest. Oh my god, you left. <laughs> hey there, little lady. Wanna launch some fireworks of love with me? You have a dad and a big brother here that are about to beat you up and tie you your legs up on a tree. How do you do that? Well... Cut it out, Teddy! Do you want Dojima-san to haul you in? Things are heating up down there. Oh? Does that mean it'll be starting soon? I hope so. Really? Let's see. That's awesome. Oh. Ready. It's okay. Wow. <laughs> Ted Fire. Ted Fire. <laughs> Listen to him. Stop messing with her, Teddy. Sometimes you're unbearable. Was that supposed to be a joke? <laughs> oh, looks like this one's a doozy. Oh, I'm glad Dojima son was here. Oh my god. I'm glad Dojima son made it. And Nanako. That was a good, good time. You enjoy the fireworks festival. Ah. Oh. That concludes our program for the summer fireworks festival. Thank you for coming, and all of us here in Inaba hope to see you again next year as well. Man, that was amazing! Totally worth coming out here for. I agree. Because you got to stuff your face, right? Oh. So what? You were all munching on snacks too! An extra large steak bowl doesn't qualify as a snack. Did you have fun, Nanako-chan? Mm -hmm. I'm glad. She's so I'm tired. Oh. <laughs> I'm not surprised. It's about time for you to be home in bed. 
I'll take Nanako back. Make sure you guys don't stay out too late, huh? All right. Bye bye, Nana chan. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, she's adorable. I'll protect her with my Fireworks life. Fireworks were great, but I don't know. It just feels like summer's just about over. Why'd you have to bring that up? I'm all right with that. Mm -hmm. When I'm working, I have to wear fall clothes during the summer so I don't get a sense of the seasons changing. But this year, I went to the beach and saw some fireworks. I even got to wear a yukata out to the summer festival. The festival, huh? Well, thanks to a certain someone, I don't have anything but bitter memories of that. Oh. Really? That someone is you. <laughs> well, I had fun. Yeah, me too. Oh, yeah, you were good at that candy cutting. Wait, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I was expecting something more, more bittersweet and stuff. Right? Uh, eh, it was completely different. W wait a sec, what does that mean? What are you comparing it to? Did, did you go with someone else the next day? Uh. Hmm. What's wrong, Risei-chan? You seem fidgety. Your face seems awfully red, too. Hmm? Uh, does it? <laughs> Dude, seriously? Ah. Uh. Mm hmm. <sighs> Yosuke, you really do only think about girls, huh? Like you're any different. <laughs> oh, yeah. Should we have asked that kid to come with us today? What kid? What kid are you talking about? Uh, well... Oh... You mean Naoto Shirogane? Oh, him. Yeah, I guess so. When you think about it, we were working on the same case in a way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we might not ever see him again. Yeah. I'd hate to leave it with him like that. I said some harsh things. You know? I remember him saying something that sounded pretty sad. Yeah. Then again, I doubt he's the type who'd accept even if we had invited him out to see the fireworks. Who knows? I wonder if he's not here anymore. He seemed to be busy, so maybe he's already working on another case in some faraway town. Huh. That was all I told you, my son, right? Sorry, I didn't mean to be a downer. There's no point in wondering what might have been. Mm-hmm. He was a pretty good-looking guy, too. He might have been a roadblock in, uh, other ways. <laughs> Yosuke, you really do only think about girls, huh? Shut up, you don't have to say it twice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this friend group is amazing. You ate a light dinner with the others and then headed home. Ah, <sighs> love them. Oh, second is like thundering at night. Ooh. Oh, look at Nanako-chan. Oh, you finally came down. Hey, Nanako. Someone gave him a watermelon. Ooh. It's too big for us to eat, so he said you should call your friends over. All right, I'll do, you do think that. Teddy and your other friends can come? Yeah, pretty sure. Nanako seems to want everyone to come. I decided to give them a call. Of course. Hey guys, get your butts down here. Watermelon? Yep. Oh, definitely. I haven't had any yet this year. I'm gonna call up the others, so you better not smack it open before we get there. Fine, I won't. <laughs> Luckily, everyone was able to come over. Anoka may have been a factor in their decision as well. Um, Dad got a watermelon from someone, so he said we should call everyone. And here's everyone. Man, a watermelon. Because of all the stuff that's gone down this summer, I completely missed out. So, where is it? The fridge? Gee, Kanji, they invited us over. At least show some manners. Mm-hmm. We gotta smack it open first. Huh? Are we seriously gonna do that? We can't eat it if it gets all crushed. It's not gonna get crushed. But, but doesn't it sound like fun? I mean, it does. I wanna do it too. I'll swing at it with everything I've got. The splattering fruit juice, bursts of joy, one night of love, 
The bitter sweetness of those days is the essence of youth. All right, my guy, calm it down. That makes no sense at all. <laughs> and dude, will you cut out those commercial lines of yours? That's the essence of youth. <laughs> He's so cute. I'm home. Whoa, that's a lot of shoes. How many people are here? Everyone. Welcome home. <laughs> Let's split the watermelon open. Say what? Ah, well, you see. Dojima. The watermelon was already cut and shared with the neighbors. Oh. Come on, Nanako. Don't pout. Everyone came here to hang out. Right? Oh, we have watermelon still, though. I'm really sorry. It never occurred to me you'd want to do that. Hey, Nanako-chan, let's do it again sometime. Mm -hmm. Next time, we'll do it right at the beach. Ooh, that would be awesome. Whoa, does that mean we get another chance to see you in bathing suits? Oh, but there probably aren't enough days left. We'll have to do it next year. That's fine. Next year? Will you play with me next year too? Of course. Of course we will. Every year. You betcha. You betcha. <laughs> you can go sound serious. Did you hear that, <laughs> Of course. The fun time slowly passes by. Eventually, everyone went home. Anako must have gotten tired too. She already seems to be asleep in her room. Oh, oh my god. Thanks for everything today. Hey, no problem. It's been a while since I last saw Nanako in high spirits like that. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm very glad. The case is finally solved. Now for all the... Huh. Hmm? Ah, never mind. Save it for some other time. You sure? You know, you really made some great friends. I really did. I'm glad. The sun set peacefully. Thursday 1st. This is the first day of the second term. Oh, no, not back to school. You should hurry to school. Uh. Back to school we go. Good morning. Hey, morning, girls. Good morning. Oh, summer vacation's over already. I know. Hey, but we had fun. Yo, guys. I got lost on my way here. How? Vacation was pretty long. Not that long. Sheesh. Hey, at least we had fun all together. <laughs> oh? Good morning. Naoto? Hey! Y you? You're that, uh, pint sized detective. Damn. I beg your pardon? My name is Naoto. Please don't give people bizarre nicknames you make up on the spot. Um, you know this is a high school, right? Ugh. Damn. My cooperation with the police has come to an end. However, there are aspects of the case with which I remain unconvinced. Mm. There are some family-related issues as well, so I've decided to stay here for the present. Ah, I see. You and me are thinking the same. Something is not right. From today forth, I'll be a first year at your high school. Hey, welcome. And I felt that I should at least introduce myself to you all. I trust our relations will be cordial, Senpai. I agree. They will be. Senpai? Yep. That detective boy's our underclassman? Yes. That's what he said. So they got the guy over summer break. Sad to know that he was a student I once taught. Gotta watch out for the unjustified resentment, guys. She 
Don't you know what I mean? You all watch gossip shows? You never know who has a grudge against you. My advice, turn your body regularly so you can fight back. You need exercise and meat to train your body. Young people, eat meat. All right, now, sudden question about meat. Hey, Miyake. Yes. Venison. Is the meat of what animal? It's actually all of the above. You would think deer, but it's actually all of it. Gave the answer you thought it was right. That's right. Surprise you knew. But this is the name for any game meat. Mm hmm. It includes wild boar, deer, moose, reindeer, and even some kinds of rabbit. The reason why I didn't say game meat was because I forgot the term in English and I'm like, I it's everything that's like wild. <laughs> I didn't want to sound stupid if I was wrong. It comes from uh, <clears throat> comes from the word venner, meaning to hunt. Nowadays, people really only use it to refer to deer meat. Mm -hmm. Speaking of outdoor experiences, the school trip is next week. Let me get the chance to eat some yummy meat. But be careful not to eat anything that has to hide behind a code name, though. <laughs> you answer correctly. Your knowledge has increased. Nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, school's as dull as ever. With the case closed, the days feel so empty all of a sudden. Eh, I guess. Come on, Yosuke. Everything went back to normal. It's a good thing. I agree, it is. But it just I doesn't feel that way. It's just doesn't feel right. Hey, we're stopping by Juness later, right? Why don't we ask Naoto Kun to join us? Yeah, that sounds cool. Oh, well, I just thought. Since he doesn't know anyone yet, he must feel lonely. I agree, Yukiko. Let's invite him. Didn't he say he came here to help out with the murder case? With the case closed, he's just an ordinary guy now. Yeah, but he can hang out with us. What's wrong with that? And if you think about it, that makes him a transfer student, just like us. Mm hmm Hello, senpai. Hey, Rize. Maybe he transferred here out of plain stubbornness, because he doesn't seem like he's only in it for fun. Rize is so lost. She's like, what? What All are you guys right, talking about? If he wants to hang out with us. A celebrity coming to school is already a surprise, but a detective is even rarer. Mm -hmm. I'm a little curious to see what his family's like, too. There's that and the fact that he's a detective at his age. Right. Let's go. Oh, there oh, he is. Speak of the devil. There's the little guy. You don't know the area yet, right? Come on, we'll show you around. There's probably tons of places to hang out that only we'd know about. Oh that my god. That won't be necessary. I'm not interested in hanging out, and neither am I interested in you two. Damn! Holy! Huh? Hey, what did you say? What's with that attitude? We're just trying to be friendly. Whoa. Jeez, way to make an impression. Yo, Naoto-kun. How's it going? Oh, um... <laughs> hey, guys. Sup? Uh, well, we'll be going now. And they're off. Good Jesus. I'm pesky. So we meet again. May I help you? Hey, Naoto-kun! If you're not doing anything after school, want to come with us? Come with... you mean me? Yeah. Who else? Perhaps another time. I have some things to mull over. You sure? Things to mull over? I must go straight home today. I promised my grandpa so. Uh, okay. Grandpa? Oh well. That's that then. Let's hang out some other time. Mm hmm. Man, did you see Naoto's attitude? He sure blew his debut at school. Mm. Is he going to be okay at Yasogami? I hope so. He is different, but he has this mysterious 
air around him that draws your attention. Mm -hmm. Whoa, Yukiko, I never knew. You like younger guys? Stop teasing. No, that's not what I meant. Hmm. <laughs> Hanji? Naoto-kun said he has things to mull over, but he's got to be talking about the murder case. Most likely. He's some ace detective, right? I bet he's not satisfied, even though the case is closed. It's just something is off, guys. I keep telling you. That's true, but... Hmm. Why don't you guys listen to me? <laughs> this place isn't our special headquarters anymore. <sighs> uh, let's talk about something else. Isn't the class trip coming up soon? Oh, that's true. Um, where are we going? Tatsumi Port Island. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh my god, I'm tearing up. Oh, oh that's from P3. Oh, I'm tearing up. Heard it's an artificial island that faces the ocean. It's a pretty big city. Huh? Port Island? I did tons of shoots there. It's just beyond the Moonlight Bridge, oh. yeah? Should be lots of places to hang out there. Oh my god. Uh, actually, we may not have any time to goof off during this trip. Oh. I heard the school board is changing the trip schedule this year. Hmm? The idea is we're going to visit a private school there, like to have local and urban students interact or something. Oh. Wait, are we are we going to visit the school? It'll be all about studying and serious business. Oh, yeah. Ugh, they're totally missing the point of a class trip. Are we going to visit the school? What kind of place is this private school? Please tell me the name. I heard it's really good. They have nice buildings and everything. The name. But it's closed on the day we're going there, so they're going the extra mile to make this work. They want us to tour some factories on the second day, and then we're coming back on the third day. Hmm. That's no different from a social studies field trip. Uh, I didn't want to know that. Well, you asked. Can't expect much from a school-sponsored trip, I guess. Well, we'll be around, so if it starts to drag, we can ditch. <laughs> around that sounds fun but we're in different years oh didn't you know the excursion will be like the camp out they're going to combine the first and second years since student enrollment is down and they're low on funds they've cut the excursion back to once every two years ah. well at least we won't be bored with you around senpai gosh i'm trying to remember the last time i went to port island and i wasn't working <laughs> this will be great I'm excited. I'm positive about it. Doesn't this seem like a pain in the ass to anyone else? Nope. Some people were against the proposition, but it's been decided. Oh, and guess whose idea it was? King morons. Even but even beyond the grave, he continues to haunt us. Ha! <laughs> That's how you idiot students get. My ghost will always haunt you. Ha! <laughs> Live with the consequences, idiots. Ha <laughs> ha. It's just the kind of thing he'd come up with. No, King Moron! Why must you torture us from beyond the grave? <laughs> he said the same thing. <laughs> no, King Moron! What? You don't even know who that is. Hey, tell me more about this trip. You can't go, Teddy. Where is Port Island? What's there? Get back to work, will ya? Well... Even though the class trip is coming up, it's still a ways away. What should I do until then? Well, it's not like we got much to do here in the first place. Mm -hmm. Man is just an animal trying to figure out how to kill time through his days. That was deep. Huh. You made that sound like you were being philosophical. I know. Yet it made absolutely no sense. It kind of made sense. Sorry. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh, welcome home, big bro. Thank you, Nanako. There was a delivery for you. I left it on the table. 
Genji Beetle combo. You purchase from the TV show. Obtain three Genji Beetle, Beetle, and Longevity Pill. In addition, you obtain a bonus price sticker. You can work as a janitor at the hospital today. I don't need to. All right, but I am going to end this episode here. I'm going to do the plants, the bugs, and everything else off screen. So, hope you guys have been enjoying these videos. If you have, please leave a like, comment, and share. That always helps out against that pesky YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to join the Moonlight Army today. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. If you guys want to stalk me on my social medias, the links will be in the description box below. Also, I do have a voice acting channel, which the link will always be. There will also be in the description below. So I'll see you guys in the next video. So take care, guys. Bye bye. Ah. Uh.